The next area I'm going to is going to be Egypt. Figure out the secret of the pyramid to get the treasure of the Nile. Need to kill a little treasure called King Kuku's Nile, but no one has ever laid eyes on it. Egypt. Kind of resembles Pharaoh Man's stage from Mega Man 4, right? Got the pyramids in the background, the sinking sand. See this treasure chest? I know you're thinking, oh, I want to get that, right? Wrong. Hidden passageway, as Louis will tell us. There are a lot of hidden passageways and traps and all those sorts of things in this level. You want to lure that enemy close to the treasure chest in order to be able to reach it. Jump to the first ring and jump to the second from it. To pull this down. reach this hidden area. Look out here, here's another hidden passageway. And down here is yet another. Let's see. One is three, three is two, four is one, two is four. What's that supposed to mean? That's our clue to solve the, uh, mystery of the pyramid. Right here, one equals three. One, two, three. Three equals two. Four equals one, and two equals four. It refers to the number of times you have to a uh, pogo jump on top of those blocks. Found our next piece of the map, which is good news. Thanks for the information. We already figured it out though, Dewey, so you really don't need to tell us. And if you had gone right rather than uh, left, or wait, if you had gone right rather than fall down the uh, hidden passageway like I did, you would end up in this area. This game is really fun, in that you'll notice that these ropes I keep climbing, every single stage has a different kind of rope. The ones you saw in the uh, Bermuda Triangle were different than the ones you saw in Niagara, which are different from the ones here. This is a, you know, a little extra. It's a small thing, but, you know, it adds a little bit of extra flavor to the game. You know, just a nice little touch. Just thought I'd mention it. And I can't jump back up there. Looks like I have to uh, go through the entire level again. Oh well, this will show you that I wasn't lying. Rather than going down here, you can just go right to end up in the exact same area. like this. That snake is kind of difficult uh, to defeat. 
I want to climb up the rope here. This is a challenge. You want to pull down on the right button in order to get all those jewels. If you just did a normal jump, you would fall down through the floor and not get the jewels at all. Alright, Huey, how's it going? Fortunately, Huey, Dewey, and Louie have the Junior Woodchucks guidebook, which allows them to translate Egyptian hieroglyphics in under 20 seconds. This is a funny little glitch here. Well, actually, I didn't get to show you the glitch because that enemy um, attacked. I'll show you it later. Here's the hidden treasure that the uh, hieroglyphics told about. Found a hidden treasure! And don't forget the corners of the room where you can find those red diamonds. Have to be careful not to sink too far into the sand. That's why the snake is difficult. It's hard to uh, defeat that snake. Because you can only get it by pogoing off its head, which generally results in you getting hurt, like you saw there. Or by doing a golf swing. And here's the glitch I told you about. Press start and Scrooge, even though he's climbing the ladder, he will just freeze in place like he's standing. Same thing even if he's in mid-jump. Just, just a funny little thing I noticed right now. I'm gonna pull down on these things to continue through the area. There's a snow cone. There's a snow cone before every single one of the boss fights. This is King Tut, or whatever the boss's name is supposed to be. As I recall, the episode where they went to Egypt, it had Donald in it, actually. They thought Donald looked like the pharaoh, so they started worshipping Donald as the pharaoh. It was a fun episode. And once again, we go back to the uh, item shop. It's a step up from the first game, where you got to collect money from all the stages, but you never really did anything with it, so it was kind of pointless. But now you can actually use the money to, say, buy extra lives. Although, to be honest, in the first game, the money was useful, because you got a hidden ending if you got about a billion dollars of money. So it wasn't all that useless. And the same thing with this game. If you beat the game with uh, no money whatsoever, you get an alternate ending. 